We attract the relationships we believe we deserve. Heard that one? I have, and I remember when I first heard it. Many years ago, I grappled with it, but these days it rings kind of true. Today's word vitamin is attractive. And when we look at attraction in our life, it's that magnetic pull, people that we are drawn to. And it's for more than usually just one thing. And long term, the people that we are drawn to as the whole package, head, heart and body, they are often a good mirror on our own assets and liabilities. And there's that old saying also too, when the pupil's ready, the teacher appears. But in a healthy relationship, both parties swap between caps of wearing pupil and teacher because there's give and take. And uh, healthy partnerships offer lessons to learn where the other party has assets where we have liabilities and we have assets where they have liabilities. And when our dints fit their grooves, you get a win-win, whether it's lovers, friends, family members. So what are you attracting in your life? Are you attracting strong quality connections, a bit like mobile reception, have you got six bars, the, you know, the best quality connection you can get? Or are you sort of finding there are black spots where you drop out and you have no signal? You can't reach the other person, you don't know why? Or are you in a consistent state of bad reception and disconnection? Today's word vitamin invites you to do a little bit of an emotional fitness workout, a bit of a review. There are seven little tips that I've listed in what I've observed attractive people possess. And you can review them, agree or disagree, but take your own pulse and see if you feel that you're getting seven out of seven in your relationships. And it's just worthwhile asking yourself the question, what is attractive to you at this point in your life and why? Because, you know, it needs to be far beyond one dimension, the physical realm of attractiveness, the intellectual realm of attractiveness, and the emotional realm of attractiveness. You know, we, are, we all know people that, you know, we've had loving feelings towards, but we weren't in love with, so there's an emotional connection. Or people that we intellectually enjoy talking to, but there's no chemistry. So, interesting to just review that and see where you're up to. And to ask yourself the question, you know, are you somebody you'd like to be around? Are you someone you'd like to be lovers with, friends with, or parented by? Just some food for thought. Mwah. Lots of love. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.